Uh, welcome, guys, to uh, the wireless networking uh, part of this uh, presentation. Uh, today, I will talk about the wireless networking program. Uh, the code for this program is T411. Uh, my name is uh, uh, Dr. Khalid Danok. I am the professor in this program and also the program coordinator. Uh, I've been working with this program since day one. So back in 2003, when we uh, started the program, uh, basically I was hired uh, to uh, launch the program and coordinate the program. So I am the program coordinator uh, since day one. Today, I will give you a general idea about the program. Uh, some of the program overview really uh, uh, intersects with what Jackie said uh, about uh, the T147 program, the three-year program. We have some, some common uh, courses with them, and we also share some of the lab facilities. Uh, well, I will talk about uh, the learning outcomes of the program, admission requirements, uh, labs, uh, industry partners, and what kind of career you will have uh, when you uh, graduate from the program. So the, the program, wireless networking, I mean, uh, was one of the first, really, uh, if I don't say it's the first, uh, wireless networking program in GTA, Greater Toronto Area. Uh, we launched this program in 2000. Three. Now, this program is a post-diploma program, meaning uh, uh, you need to have a diploma, three years diploma minimum. Uh, this is a, a standard requirement for all the postgraduate or post-diploma programs. Uh, so this is one year program, three semesters, back to back. Uh, over the years, uh, the program uh, evolved, changed, meaning uh, uh, it's been going now uh, 18 years. So the program uh, under uh, basically went a lot of changes, uh, a lot of the updates. Uh, we, add, we are uh, adding courses. Uh, we are uh, changing the content of some of the courses. And you will see today, guys, uh, when I talk about the course, basically that there is uh, many changes uh, for the new intake in September. Now, the, the, now, why we implement all these changes or update the program? Because we need to match uh, industry requirement, meaning uh, we need our uh, graduates when they finish the program to find a job in the industry. Because this is the goal. The goal is to prepare the students with a specific set of skills and when they apply for jobs, they will get the jobs because they are up to date. And this is the idea of uh, updating the program. So that's why we say that the, this program is designed with intensive uh, input from the industry, meaning we meet with the industry partners through what we call program advisory committee. We meet with them regularly to, to get to seek their input. Uh, about our pro uh, our courses and what what need to be changed, what need to be updated, in order to match uh, industry standards. So this program will offer a unique choice of career, meaning we will you will have what's required for the industry. Now, the the program is applied program, meaning uh, there will be a lot of hands-on experience and hopefully. Uh, by September, we will go back to classrooms uh, and you will be working in the labs. All the courses in the program have lab components. Some of them basically it's uh, entirely applied, meaning it's all in the lab. So the, the students, when they, when, when, when students basically go through the program, uh, they, they will develop the hands-on experience, which is required uh, to uh, go into the workforce. So 
in general, we can say that we are departed from what we call traditional lecture-based course. Students work in the labs. It's a project-based uh, learning. They will work on assignments, projects, uh, which, is, which will involve not only research project, uh, mainly it's involving uh, configuration, testing, troubleshooting stuff. Uh, in the third semester of the program, we have a course called Capstone Project, which basically it's a, a students uh, uh, in a small group will, will work on an industry project. This could involve uh, one of our partners and the students could be uh, working with the industry partner to gain the work experience while they are in the program. We have up to date really uh, labs uh, for uh, voice over IP, for uh, RF, uh, uh, LTE labs, uh, security labs, uh, are really up to date. And we keep updating them with uh, uh, state of the art equipment. Uh, this program is also designed to offer uh, a bridging option to uh, uh, other programs. Uh, and this is designed for international students. The international students, if they want to continue uh, for another uh, year, uh, they, we have a bridging option to uh, the cybersecurity program. So the students, after finishing three semesters in our program, they will finish one more semester uh, in the cybersecurity and they will be able to get the two post diploma certificates. So one additional semester uh, will give you another one year post diploma certificate in cybersecurity. And typically, uh, most of our international students who joining the wireless 20 program will bridge into uh, the cybersecurity program because uh, it will give them an, uh, an opportunity to learn more about uh, cybersecurity. Part of the uh, current uh, update uh, to the program, which I will share with you shortly, is basically to make this transition uh, between wireless networking and cybersecurity very smooth. So now students will have a, a, a clear path to the cybersecurity. And uh, uh, as you, you know, guys, now in the industry, really uh, cybersecurity is one of the most important uh, aspects of the industry because uh, there is a lot of activity happening in this area and uh, uh, industry looking for people who can uh, work as a network administrator and in the same time have a very good knowledge about security and cybersecurity. Program learning outcome. This is standard outcomes basically tell you what this program is about and what is the uh, outcomes from this program after you finish it. So you, you will have a good idea about RF, uh, wireless LAN, uh, meaning Wi-Fi, uh, you will be able to build a wired or wireless network, uh, measure performance, moni monitoring, uh, use network management tools, uh, be able to create documentations. Uh, and the main skill really, it's the troubleshoot. So this is the main skill, I would say, uh, any graduate from the program will have is troubleshoot because uh, industry looking for people who can solve problems. And this is the main goal of our program is to train our students so they will be good troubleshooters because normally uh, companies hire the graduates from our program or similar programs uh, to be the go-to person if something happens, meaning they will come to you and there's a problem. I always tell my students that keep in mind, people only come to you, mainly come to you when there's a problem. So you cannot basically uh, tell them that you don't know. You need to be able to know how to troubleshoot a problem. So and this is one of the main skills uh, we 
we develop in our students, how to troubleshoot a problem when there's a problem, what is the right approach? What do you do for that? So uh, troubleshooting and resolving technical problems related both to wired and wireless networks, basically using standardized approaches and methodologies. So the labs will help you to do that. Uh, install, upgrade network hardware, monitor evaluation, assist in the collection and analysis of user requirements, uh, utilize uh, uh, change, issue documentation, and all of that. So basically, it's uh, a full package, really. It's a full package uh, of uh, skills which, which you need to, to uh, gain while you are in the program, so you will be ready for the job market. We also have a course in the first semester. It's based on ITIL. This is a, a, an industrial certification uh, about uh, uh, IT services operations, uh, including some project management. So this is also part of the program. Now, what, what do we have in the program? Uh, 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 what I am sharing with you right now, guys, is the up-to-date uh, map is a little bit different from what we currently have on the website, which we are in the process of updating. Uh, this is the latest update, which we just introduced to the program uh, by adding a little bit more uh, 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 security material. So in the first semester, we will have introduction uh, uh, to, you see, there is probably more than one course, either fundamentals or introduction because we, we, we need to make sure that the students coming from to, to this program from different backgrounds, from uh, computer networking background or electronics or electrical uh, engineering background or uh, 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 software, computer science. Uh, in the first semester, basically they will develop the same background. So we give them introduction to RF, we basically want to do the basics of RF because we, when we talk about wireless, we're talking about radio frequencies. Uh, we also talk about basics of networking, meaning what is a network, what is the uh, layering model, TCP, IP, and uh, networking devices, and so on in the second course in the networking technology fundamental. Uh, we introduce operating systems. So in this course, uh, uh, they will be introduced to Unix, Linux, and also to uh, Windows Server. Uh, there is another course about wireless LAN administration where we introduce Wi-Fi. Uh, IT best practices. This is basically the course which is based on ITIL. Uh, students will have some project management uh, uh, components and also they will uh, uh, do presentation which will basically will develop and enhance their uh, presentation skills. Uh, this is one of the new courses we introduced. Uh, introduction to security operation centers, but it will give you the fundamentals of uh, uh, security and uh, uh, basically how do we uh, uh, embed security into our networks and what is the fundamentals of security. So this is uh, this program. It's coming from the cybersecurity program. In the second semester, we go a little bit higher so the level of the course basically will be a little bit more advanced so uh, we will have a course about voice and this is more about voice over ip technology so really this is a voip course so voice over ip and uh, a mobile course. And this is also a, a, an updated course. So, this, so th th this course is about uh, mobile technologies and the, uh, the development of mobile technology, but we also adding IoT component and uh, uh, internet of things will be introduced here because this is now 
uh, it's a big really deal in the industry and with 5G and all of that. So this is what's introduced also here. Now we have an, a, an advanced networking and security course in the second semester. We also have a virtualization cloud uh, course and uh, we have wireless LAN security. So this course is wireless LAN, Wi-Fi security introduced here. So uh, we, we, we're covering uh, uh, just basically to uh, make sure that we have a good idea about this program. This program is about advanced networking and advanced wireless. So that doesn't cover only wireless. We cover all the aspects of wireless, but we also cover uh, advanced networking technologies. The third semester, here we're talking about advanced network analysis. This is a project base. Students will work on a full scenario, deployment of uh, network management tools, deployment of uh, uh, high level uh, network concepts, topologies, uh, implementing uh, security concepts, how to secure the network. So a full package. Uh, a new course was basically also will be introduced ethical hacking. So this is part of the cybersecurity. A capstone project, the one I already mentioned about basically uh, having uh, an industry-based project, uh, working on it in, in, in a team environment and could involve an industry partner. Uh, the, the, the other course, uh, guys, I will answer, just let me finish and I will answer your question at the end. Uh, 4G and 5G technology. So this is a course talks about uh, LTE, uh, 4G and 5G technologies. Uh, slowly, slowly this course basically uh, adding more and more 5G component to the course because now we are into the, in the phase where basically we are uh, transitioning from 4G to 5G. So this covers all the aspects of uh, LTE, uh, uh, 4G and 5G. Uh, the last course is uh, advanced security. So this is a continuation of the second semester course. Again, students will be uh, working on uh, uh, projects, focusing on advanced networking and advanced implementing advanced uh, security uh, uh, hardware and tools. Now, admission requirements. It's very similar to uh, uh, the guys talked about post-diploma programs uh, and they mentioned admission requirements. So we need uh, people with three years diploma or higher. So typically the main uh, uh, population of our students coming with bachelor degrees. So uh, four years, three years bachelor degree or diploma or higher. Uh, there is an rec admission requirement. This is standard all uh, across the board in the college is 6.5 when it comes to uh, uh, the ILS and the, the uh, TOEFL, it's uh, 88. Okay, uh, minimum 22 in each skill band or when it comes to the, uh, the ILS, it's basically six in each skill band. So these are uh, not program specific, it's all over the board when it comes to the post-diploma program. This is basically probably Jackie already uh, talked about this. Uh, so we are using, we have the NetLab. It's an on, online portal based on a real equipment uh, in, uh, in real racks available for the students 24 seven. They can work from home. They can practice whatever they learned. Uh, basically by uh, reserving time uh, on the system and then they will have two hours uh, to do the configuration. If they are not done, they can save the configuration and reserve another time slot and continue. So this is an excellent uh, tool. We have also labs with uh, advanced router switches, firewalls, intrusion detection systems, intrusion prevention system, and so on. Uh, we have up-to-date equipment and technologies for wireless, like uh, we do have uh, microwave labs, we do have LTE lab, 
based on a, a, a real uh, production-based environment, meaning we have uh, what we call base station uh, in the lab connected to a provider and students will have the chance to work on uh, the, the, the provider tools to configure our uh, uh, the uh, LTE. We call it E-Node B or base station. Uh, when it comes to virtualization, so uh, we are using VMware, we are part of the VMware Academy, so we have uh, uh, made it uh, available to students, all the VMware uh, basically uh, platforms. Uh, again, through the NetLab. So uh, what kind of career waiting for people who are joining this program? So uh, typically you are network admin, so system or network administrators, working for small or medium or even large companies. You're providing technical support. You are the go-to person. So you need to develop wire in the, in the program the troubleshooting, the testing skills. Uh, you could be working for uh, wireless cellular service providers, uh, training service providers. You could be basically uh, providing training to... Pro so basically a standard uh, 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 job functions for a network administrator. And network admin required in every business. There should be somebody who's taking care of their networks. I always say to my students, remember you are lucky if you are in this uh, area, if you are in this career, in this pro profession, because uh, everybody needs you, but on, they only need the good ones. So the, the program will help you to develop the skills to be a good network admin. Now, uh, we have intake in September. We're talking about two sections, so 60 seats. Uh, normally, the program will have January and September intake. We accept the domestic and international students. Uh, it's a lab-heavy program, very applied. Uh, you can go, guys, to georgebrown.ca. Again, as I said, uh, you will see the map a little bit different from the one, but it will be updated very, very soon. So this is my contact information, kdanok at georgebrown.ca. Uh, and uh, this is the computer technology at georgebrown.ca for uh, uh, general questions about any program. Yeah. So if you have any program, uh, I mean, uh, any question about uh, this specific program, so please uh, email me at this email. If you have general questions about programs, you can go to the computer technology at georgebrown.ca. So thank you very much, guys. And uh, let me see, uh, there was a question here. Uh, so uh, Arjun saying, what are the courses available if wireless networking is taking as a bridging uh, program? Uh, we have, meaning uh, if you're coming, we only have a bridging for people coming from the cybersecurity. So they will be taking five courses. Uh, it's not available for everyone from, uh, uh, not for everyone coming from any other program. So it's only uh, for people coming from the cybersecurity program. Uh, we have uh, five courses need to be taken uh, uh, in one semester. 